I open an equal chance pack and have a guaranteed pink diamond spin the wheel, but I made a huge mistake you need to avoid. For all NBA 2K24 grinding, contact Rose NBA, link in description. We just unlocked the next level in my team, Unlimited guys, getting a free New Year's resolution option pack that is sellable as which is so dope. It is a diamond option pack that we can Evo to pink diamond. We're gonna open that, we're gonna choose our card, we're gonna open a bunch of other packs as well. Guys, like this video, subscribe to the channel right now before we go any further. We're gonna open up this option pack now. Obviously, I get to choose whoever I want and I think I know who I'm gonna get. I think they're all decent i would i'm gonna go d'angelo russell though i think that is the best most fun card here followed by a close second is dirk in my opinion i do actually like dirk cards this year his amethyst one wasn't too bad but i am gonna go d'angelo russell and i think i am gonna think i'm gonna evo him but at the same time like i kind of want to sell him as well but still I'd like to grade him as well. I can now sell this card for just 60K. That makes this reward so good. I need to get 15 steers with him though, which isn't a whole lot, but it's definitely worth doing to turn him into a pink diamond and he just becomes a much better defensive player. So I'm gonna make this D'Angelo Russell a pink diamond and then we're gonna grade this card as well. I haven't finished Evoing uh, D'Angelo Russell yet, but I am close to it. And right here, I have the New Year's resolution spin the wheel. This is from the season grind. I'm gonna spin it. I, I'm pretty sure I cannot sell this card though, but it is gonna be another free Evo to Pink Diamond card. I want Dirk. Please be Dirk. Come on, give me Dirk. What are you gonna give me? Oh, is it Dirk? No. No, it's D'Angelo freaking Russell. That is beyond annoying, man. That is so freaking annoying. And I don't think I can sell him for a good price. No, he's only a thousand MT. I know I, I could switch out, but I've already started the Evo. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna lie. I might, I think we might have to take the risk right here and get an electric. I want an electric. Why can I not? It's not auctionable, but I'm gonna have to unfortunately trade him in. Um, it is what it is, man. Really want a Dirk. I definitely, 1000%, if you guys uh, don't do it the way I did it, you should, if you've got the option pack from My Team Unlimited, wait until you do that spin the wheel, then open up the option pack. That's my mistake. So I have done the 15 steals for D'Angelo Russell. So we're gonna go ahead and Evo him right now. Turn him into a pink diamond. This card is still really good considering he came out around New Year's. He's actually such a good card, especially Evo. As a diamond, I actually really liked him, but a pink diamond, this card's gonna be nice. Now I wanna send him away to get graded. And I got a couple of the diamond cards to send away to get graded as well. But I'm gonna open up a couple of electric packs because I wanna see if I can add anything else to send a way to get graded like if i'm going to send away a 10 box i may as well see if i can add in another another diamond or two maybe a pink diamond i'm not going to be mad at a pink diamond either 2k so we're going to open up a cup just a couple we'll send d'angelo away to get graded hopefully we get a good grade on him and then i would like to try him out because I obviously haven't used him as a pink diamond yet. But like I said, as a diamond player, he's actually so elite. Like, And when it, when it comes to evoing him, I wasn't evoing him like in triple threat off, offline, you know, doing, you know, pro difficulty difficulty stuff. I just used him in my team unlimited as a diamond. Like he came off my reserves. If I was winning by a lot or losing by a lot for that matter, I would bring D'Angelo Russell on and just try and get steers with him. And he definitely racked up a few. It wasn't very hard, honestly. I do. Steals are by far the worst Evo requirement still. Like, I'm not trying to debate that for a second. I hate getting steals. It is the most annoying thing. We get three straight Emethyst in these packs. But yeah, Dirk Nowinski, his Evo requirements are like 15 dunks. Like, that is so easy. I would get that done like so quick. And I'm pretty sure Blake Griffins is like some blocks and some steals. He's got two requirements for some reason, but I do really wish I, I got Dirk from that spin the wheel. That would have been good because people use that. Evo Dirk is actually freaking good. If you have not used Evo Dirk, he's actually a really good card. I don't actually know if D'Angelo is even gonna make my lineup. I have so many good point guards now. Like I've got both the twins, so we've got that one twin that can play um a man or whatever his name is that can play point guard he is my favorite by far we're shaking again there we go finally we got a diamond pull um but i also got the free pink diamond luca i've got Lamelo ball like i've got a lot 
of really good point guards. And who are we gonna have right here? Shooting guard, the Troy, we got the, the cheap twin, the cheap one. He doesn't sell for as much as the other one, unfortunately, but it's 30K right there. I've, uh, I've already got him, so I'm just gonna have to quick sell this one straight away, unfortunately. I'm gonna keep going though. One one diamond's not really, you know, hitting right now. I, I'd, like a, I'd like another one. We're shaking again. It's another amethyst. That's something I really hope 2K take, just completely take out of the game. I really hope they get rid of Amethyst Shakes. Because if you take out Amethyst Shakes, you can no longer troll people with the with the, the duplicate shakes. So I really hope 2K take out Amethyst Shakes sooner rather than later, because I am sick and tired of it. It is so frustrating. Um, I'll open up a couple more packs, only one diamond pull, unfortunately. I mean, these electric packs as a whole, I have pulled a pink diamond Kevin Durant, which I'm pretty happy with, obviously. I've pulled a Men Thompson a lot of times, like I'm talking like three or four times, which is really good because he sells for like 66K. So he's actually a really expensive diamond. I've pulled the other twin like two times. I've pulled, what are the other diamonds? Like Chris Webber and stuff. I've pulled Alonzo Mourning and Chris Webber. I've pulled them both once each as well. So, I mean, I've pulled a lot. It's just the pinks, man. I'm just having a lot of trouble getting pink diamonds in these packs, we got another diamond. Give me give me the expensive diamond or someone I don't have. Okay, so this is someone I don't have. Weber doesn't sell for much. He's cheap as well. He's in that 30,000 MT mark, but I don't have him. So I would love to grade him for sure. One thing I have not got yet is a, a holographic diamond pull. I really want a hollow diamond, really bad, but the best hollow I've pulled is an amethyst. So I really hope that I can get a, a hollow diamond pool in the near future. Okay, so a few mistakes I've made right here. These are the four cards we're gonna grade. If you wanna grade D'Angelo Russell, grade him why he's a diamond because this is gonna cost me 15,000 MT just to grade that D'Angelo Russell. And now that he's a pink diamond, that's really stupid. I didn't think of this. Something I've noticed as well with dynamic duos, sometimes the duo will be activated like somewhere in your lineup or something like that. So when you go to grade them, if they're popping up as pink diamonds, 2K will charge you the pink diamond price. So make sure if you're grading a dynamic duo that the duo is not activated. Otherwise, 2K are gonna charge you extra MT. So something to just be on the lookout for. I'm going to send this away and we're going to see what these cards grade for in an hour and a half. We're going to grade these cards right now. We'll see what their grading is right now. Chris Webber at a very disappointing seven. Uh, we got one twin right here. Nine, that's solid. Come on, let me get a 10 right here. Another disappointing seven. And D'Angelo Russell, the pink diamond, a 9.5. That's actually pretty good. I will take a D'Angelo Russell at a 9.5. This D'Angelo Russell, I can now sell for 85,000 MT. So that is really good considering he was free. We're gonna get a game of triple threat right now. Got a bit of a budget squad right here, which I'm glad with, because this is my first time using D'Angelo Russell, and I'm just kind of trying to, I want to enjoy it, you know? I want to see if he makes my squad, or do I just sell him for the 85K and be done with it? We start the game off with a stop. We're gonna go to Russell, straight away three. Wow, that felt nice. That felt really freaking good. He's got the clamps now as well, so we're stopping Paul George. Oops, stopping on a dime. Wanted to go all the way, I wanted to drive then gonna get room at a three. The three ball is absolute cash. Our opponent gets two quick buckets back on us, makes it a one point game. But with my D'Angelo Russell, like I'm trying to see, is he better than the new Pink Diamond Luka we just got? and better than the Diamond Lamello ball, because those are the two guard spots that he could potentially replace. The thing with Russell though, is gonna be his height. Like he can shoot the lights out for sure, but his biggest downfall, the fact that he's like 6'1", six, 6'2", six six whatever he is. Good steal. And there he is again, wide open for three. I mean, I can hit threes with this man all day long. Might get more room here again. This guy's defense is kind of weird. Let's go inside this time for a nice finish. We get another stop. D low, he's leaning. Mid range game is also money, of course. We're a Tracy away from winning this game. Can we shake P? Yes, we can. Deep three to end it. Man, he's actually, yeah, he's got ice in his veins for sure. I'm definitely not selling this D'Angelo Russell right now. He's too good. He's too good. He's a 9.5 grading. When I want to sell him, I got 80. I got 80K plus there when I want to sell him. But for now, I got to hang on to this card. He's too fun. But thank you guys for watching this video. Don't make the mistake I made in this video. Comment down below the Evo cards you get. Let me know. Make sure you like, subscribe, and I'll catch you in the next upload. It's been witnessed.